Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create hover effects for images inside a gallery section in Squarespace. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but we've got a few things that we'll need to change, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I have a basic, simple gallery in this particular page section right here. Now, these are some of the selectors that we can use. I'm going to focus on this one for the purpose of this tutorial, but I'll show you how we can actually apply these hover effects to any type of gallery using these other types of codes. But let's get started with a simple hover effect, and then we'll get a little more creative. I'm going to navigate to Pages, then I'll select Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. This is where we're going to paste our code. I'm going to add the selector for the gallery here, and then I'll type an open curly bracket. I'm going to hit Enter on my keyboard, and I'm going to say Filter, Grayscale, one. And now the images are in black and white. It's a full grayscale effect. Now on a new line here, I'm going to enter that same selector, but after the letters IMG, I'm going to add a semicolon symbol and type the word hover. So we'll create our hover effect. Adding an open curly bracket and hitting enter on my keyboard, I can now say filter grayscale zero. There we go. And when I hover over that image with my cursor, it becomes full color. Pretty awesome, right? Now this transition is happening instantly. It's very fast. So if you want to slow that down a little bit, you totally can. On the second line here, I'm going to add a semicolon and enter a new line. And I'm going to say transition filter 1s. Actually, let's say 4s for the purpose of this tutorial so we can see how slow this is going to go now. It'll take four full seconds for that grayscale image to become a full color image. Now you can change 4 to maybe 1s if you want it to be a little bit faster, but that creates a smoother transition. We use the word filter right here because we only want this to happen for a filter. All right, let's do a little bit more here. In our second line, I'm going to add a space and I'm going to say blur 2px. Oops, I forgot the parentheses. 2px, there we go. Now that I've added this code here, we'll get a little bit of a blur as well as a grayscale. But when I hover over it, it's going to reset to that full color. And we don't have a blur effect being applied to the hover effect on line 6 right here. It's just grayscale 0. So everything is going to be reset back to normal. Pretty awesome, isn't it? All right, let's do just a little bit more. Let's say you actually want it to have the opposite effect and go from full color to grayscale. We'll switch that 0 and 1. And now we've got a full color but slightly blurry image until we hover over it. Then it goes into a grayscale filter and the blur goes away. Definitely some creative options that you can use there. On my website at insidethesquare.co forward slash image filters, you'll see a lot of other suggestions that you can apply to the same type of code. I have the six main image filters listed here with a little bit more information. So if you're not feeling the rescale or the blur effect, check out some of those other options. Now, before we call this a tutorial a wrap, I'll select save here and let's go ahead and switch up this type of gallery section so that we can use one of these other codes. Selecting edit, I'm going to navigate to the right hand side of the screen and when I select the edit section option, I'll be taken to my gallery design settings. Here you can see I've selected grid simple, but let's go ahead and go for slideshow reel. We'll see all of the images here and we'll go ahead and select save. And scrolling down here, let's grab the code for Slideshow Reel. Again, all of these will be in the description below. I'll go ahead and select Exit. And now you'll see we are not getting any hover effects with these images. But if we change this part of our code, replacing Gallery Grid Item IMG with Gallery Reel Item IMG, we're now going to get that hover effect happening on these specific images. Notice that the buttons are still functional. We can still scroll through these images. But as soon as my cursor hovers over an image, we're going to get that hover effect that we created. Again, you'll find all of these codes listed in the description below. And I'll have a link to my image filter article on my website so you can create your own hover effects using these filter codes. Underneath this video, you'll find the example code that I used in the tutorial and a list of all the selector classes that you'll need just in case you want to use a different design layout for your own gallery section. You'll also find links to related resources in the description below, including a link to my image filter article on my website and my personal code collection available at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it and that you're inspired to make Squarespace uniquely yours. Most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database 
to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.